Right. Hello and welcome to game two of the ADX Winter Championship between uh, this is the first semi-final between INF and Frost Academy. We did see INF pull off a really really nice win by making by capitalizing on a Baron advantage that they managed to get by turning a team fight around. And both teams did play 5v5 team fight comps in the first game, but it was INF that managed to pull it off and execute their comp better. And FA just fell prey to their team fighting sense. I mean, to INF's team fighting sense and everything. So the bans coming out, we do see Darius still banned against Panda. They really don't want to give him because of his mastery in the champ. And FA banning the clusters Rengar, which drew, which drew a lot of pressure onto their picks in that first game so it'll be interesting to see what that uh, the uh, what other bands they like adjust and change all i know cluster is going to have a good night's sleep knowing that someone banned ringar against him <laughs> oh it's a recent thing has he only recently picked up ringar no, in practice because, or? because because the team has never let him play play ringar uh, he used to play top and oh <laughs> never let him play ringar so, so like playing. those things yeah yeah, yeah, you'll always have teams saying, oh my god, why would you ever not let me play this one champion and all that. They're also banning Aurelian Soul. They can't handle Sam's uh, general this thing around the champion, but I don't think it was Sam that it was, was the problem it, it, over the, there. The problem is the champ. Uh, like Abdo said in his interview on reaching rank 1, Aurelian Soul right. is a no-skill, no-brain bully champ and people who abuse it to climb VLOs are uh, not worthy of the actual yellow i mean i'm sure he's with his own set of flaws it's not uh, it's not really obvious how he deals his damage right because you just have his stars tagging everyone over and yeah, you just but, have a stun and you have an ult yeah but so, the presence he brings the map presence he brings is the real nuisance like uh last game if you remember it was a 3v3 mm. bot fight when aurelian yeah. Sol just fly, flew yeah. in and made 4v3 and and they lost the fight there yeah, uh, anyway, sure. Anyway, that's just something. They basically they still don't want to see that coming out of Sam, so I'm not sure what champion Sam will go in response now. I mean, in uh, this game, now that his original soul has been taken out. He did play a mean Z the last time, the one time I faced him, the two, or one of the two times that I faced him when I was mid laning for disbanding soon back in uh, Flipkart Gaming Online Championship, and he did kind of destroy me on that pick. I was Victor, I was just really, really helpless and I got carried by my team through most of the game where, and we eventually lost in the end. So, <laughs> that stuff happened. But uh, interesting, the Necton ban coming in from INF, they do they, they think that Panda will just go full blows up more. They basically don't want Panda to go in as fallback champion. So one thing to going Berserk and playing the Necton. So, huh? Am I? Uh, am I? Is it okay now? Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. So, different picks coming in. The Jace has been locked in by Cranko. Might uh, be going to the mid lane because no, if no, we uh, up, so. Clasta is being playing Jungle Jace. So, I, Jungle I, Jace, sir? Yes. Okay. Um, like, uh, the last game, um, which was against right. Mugambo, he played Jungle Jace. And, uh, oh my god, okay. So that might this is new. Good. I don't even know of like how he uh, works and everything. I just know how he works as a champ. So I'll probably have to look, in, look into things in that perspective. And Eternal still wants to be Nautilus. So yeah, I mean, he basically just wants a second shot at the whole pressure game and making the early decisions as to gank which from Nautilus. Or no, wait, there's Lee Sin. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. It's a Lee Sin and he might be going, yeah. And, and you might you say Nautilus support instead. Yeah. Uh, Nautilus support with that uh, uh, grasp or uh, that uh, the, the the new uh, mastery is, is pretty strong. Right. True. Courage of the Colossus. So yeah. Courage of the Colossus Nautilus support might really be a very u useful thing. And Vain Jana on the side of this thing, Vain, on the side of INF this time. Ripcord, he's known. I mean, I initially only knew Ripcord as an incredibly beastly vein player and an AD carry in general. So, this is he's falling into an age old comfort pick. I'm not sure how comfortable he is right now because he has been playing like a variety of other roles since and he was jungling for INF during the run in FGOC up to the finals and everything. Very long so, 
Yeah, so I'm not sure how this thing, but initially I always knew Ripcord as this incredible vein player. So I'm not sure if he still got the comfort of back then. We're talking two years ago, people. Two years ago, where I knew, okay, Ripcord is like this kind of player. So anyway, Sam opting to go for the victor this time. So we'll see what Anasara picks in response to that. And uh, Vayne Jana, very standard kind of fallback lane. And Vayne is now also super buffed BOTRK so that old incredibly strong Vayne build is also uh, Vayne uh, this thing is also going around but uh, they have the CC this time I do think FA have the tools to kind of catch and just kill them I mean I won't say much stronger impact champ because it was a rumble and uh, good equalizers do pretty much do the same as a Ken that managed to find the backline and everything. But uh, the Kennen is also a way more aggressive pick in the top lane. So I guess Kennen and Poppy. The Poppy depends really on how Shifu managed to play the intricate matchup, I think, I feel. If he managed to get find the stuns and if he manages to lay down so enough trade back damage and manages to use the brush to push by like going in and out of auto attack and not taking free poke from Panda. But then again, you can count on Panda's mastery of uh, top lane in general to kind of help him and Back. I hope they lay down more pressure on top lane than last game because it was really, really fairly this thing. Disappointing in a way from seeing from the jungler because he would every the, the both times when he went top lane, he went when Panda's equalizer was down. So I hope they don't make such similar mistakes. I hope they talked about it. And does setup gangs very easily considering he can stun repeatedly when used right. So it'll be very, very like it'll it'll be a wild show in the top lane. I mean, curious to see how Shifu will handle himself in the face of such pressure, where there's also an early game jungler as opposed to someone like a Nautilus this time. Yep. So uh, all picks coming in and uh, Lux coming in from Aruna, and uh, it's pretty interesting because Lux does have that uh, gang potential and that wave clear. Right, and Jay's jungle, well, again, I'm not too sure. He does start off with like six kills. I mean, when he gets in his level three, if he does the old, you know, red to this thing. It, it is blue side this time, so if he goes red to Krugs and ganks, say, bot lane, there's no real merit in ganking a uh, vein Jana lane because it's more, it's more of a lane that's built to just stay and last. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really curious to see how uh, Cluster will make his path this time because uh, there's no real setup. You have all your very, you know, okay with being passive and not really receiving too many ganks and just playing to survive. So I think he'll be going for a more counter gank route this game, logically, as a jungler. But I'm not sure that Jace will, like, you know, be of all that much impact because uh, I'm so used to seeing Jace in lanes poking out and constantly being in the face and in front of the enemy this thing that as a jungler i'm really not sure how he'll pull this off together on the side of uh, fa we do see a lee sin who is this aggressive early game jungler so i'm actually expecting lee sin to counter jungle but come level three jace has a fairly good dueling potential but he needs like a lot of mana early on and considering he's jungling he won't have enough access to much mana especially after his blue buff dies out so i'm i'm not too sure when uh, i'm the Lee Sin will go for counter jungles or when he'll go for the lane, go for lane ganks and all that. I hope I do hope he emphasizes lane ganks this game because it is a solo queue where he can just do whatever he wants. So that's also there. So yeah, it'll be very interesting. And mid lane is going to be, I'm fairly sure it's elementalist Lux versus uh, Victor over here. Really, really, I mean, it should be a very dry lane in on paper because they both just have the range to farm safely from and this yeah, thing. But the Victor massive. should have like, yeah, they, the Victor should kind of have an advantage early on. And I'm pretty sure that's why Lux went for the barrier so that she doesn't, she can endure some of the pressure that can uh, ensue this thing. And Victor has also picked cleanse. So, yeah. Well, Lux does have to rely on that barrier so that uh, Victor just doesn't zero to hundred her with her ulti with the ulti combo. And Correct, but it also depends on items, right? That's the thing of items. So in the in the last time when we saw him, when he saw Arnasara solo killing Sam on that Aurelian Soul, it was because of his own items. He had built a Hextech GLP eight hundred. 
So before he had any MR, he just walks into the victor's range and that's your this thing. But on a Lux, it's a different story. On Lux, you don't really have to walk in because of the range of your, you know, the range of all your other abilities. So in that sense, Lux is a far more safer pick. But at the same time, he cannot screw up because he cannot really screw up in his movements and get into Victor's range. And that will be kind of threatening. And there's also the question of Lux's Q. The reason Lux does not really last, even in the pro meta right now, is because her abilities are just too slow to make to make anything work. But at the same time, if you but if you can land them, by all means, it's a very, very good this thing. So Lee Sin will probably have a field day if the if the Lux is able to Q and you know get good snares in. It'll be like really, really easy ganks for him. Same for the top lane if Kenan gets a successful stun off. And it's easier for Kenan to get a stun off than for Lux to land a Q. But I'm not sure how, how well he trusts Arunasara's Lux to do so. It's a it's a it's a really, you know, in the in a team scenario, I think it's a matter of trust more than anything else that Lux will get that mind off, I will go and gank. Victor. So you have to do it twice to for it to have any real impact on the victor in the form of your ganks. So interesting things, like there's a lot of interesting scenarios for each player and bot lane except for maybe INF's bot lane because Vayne Jana just has to farm and keep themselves safe. So that's like very boring for them. But on the side of this thing, uh, Twitch Nautilus is a very wombo combo ish lane, especially after level 6. But uh, I do hope they're able to endure and get to that level 6 safely. And they're not really too pressured by this thing because it's just a victor. They don't even have teleport. It's not a victor with teleport or anything to try and lay down any early pressure. So, in that sense, FA should, in theory, be able to get to that safe spot in their bot lane, now the Twitch and Nautilus, where they're able to just get up with a wombo combo going. And I hope we see a lot of teleport plays on the side of FA this time because they have all the setup in the whole world. Arunasara can just ult from afar and Panda can just get, especially after level 6, he can just crash in onto INF and just kill them all. So it's a very hard comp that INF has picked against such a very CC centric and a very balanced out comp in the form of tanks and squishies and carries. So this will be a much more interesting game than the first one where it was that ball, five five man that ball comes going up against each other and the better execution wins and it just so happened that INF managed to pull that off yep and uh, Panda started with that um, the uh, the cull so it's it's going to be interesting he's gonna um, farm out that lane basically uh, he's not looking uh, to pick a fight with Poppy because Poppy is uh, a little beefy but yeah, he's just he wants to farm out that lane and. Poppy is beefy, but uh, in theory, I think it's anyway risky to start a call in general because uh, of impending ganks. I mean, of how easy ganks can just you know be thrown onto you because Cull provides what seven attack damage and three life on hit. You don't have any health. Your usual other options will at least give you health, right? Unless you start amp tome, which is the which is the only other alternative, which is a very very you know brave approach unless you've like which is only if you've gotten first blood by an invade then you get an amp tome not even an amp tome i think then you just get boots so yeah amp tome doesn't make sense anyway but a cull sure yeah there is the benefit that you get once you get 100 cs That's on the start is still kind of a very dicey and questionable thing it won't really affect the cannon in the matchup if he plays it right. If he knows his cannon well enough, then he should be able to forever stay and keep his distance against uh, the poppy at all times and not make and make sure that he doesn't really get by any poppy charge. But this will probably uh, give JS a lot of incentive to gank top because of how squishy and easy to kill cannon is. So the fact that JS has damage, he he should be able to you know get some successful ganks off at top lane and just get Shifu to the point where he can just stop dying to cannon which should be like a early spirit visage after the early spirit visage or a bami sender or something like that yep that's true and um, it'll be interesting to see how uh, the js functions um like it, yeah it's and also i don't yeah the other thing i don't see is that i don't see how js fits into this comp because you have a hard engage poppy and you have a victor and they both contribute this is a poke champion jace is someone that can just you know deal a huge shock blast from afar and if he's caught he can duel 
and he doesn't really have the teleport to split push js's primary function in the top lane and probably even in the mid lane would mostly be as a split pusher above everything else so i'm not sure if he's going to be the jungler that just decides to take up all farm on the map and just lets the other team like stick up stick as four and just do their own thing and hold out on their own against that kind of a dead ball comp so it's a very gutsy pick by cluster in this case even if he had saw success with it in an earlier match in this case specifically letting his team 4v5 a team uh, 4v5 and fa comp with nautilus lee sin and a twitch and a cannon and a lux which is just again another death ball comp but it's again they're in a much more favorable position when they stick and go for a fight because they're on the side of inf side so they can just force any of those errors they can just force inf to do any of those misplays and just get the win by just putting their ultimates to putting their ultimates putting their abilities and just chaining together cc right They're capable of that too so it remains to be seen how inf will play this compound because on paper is a very dangerous thing they doing they're on a knife edge unless they secretly want to throw in get into a third game it truly doesn't make sense why they would go for this kind of a comp to me well let's see how let's see how it functions maybe um, they are thinking on a different level and we are thinking on a different level true true commentators curse could help yeah the commentators curse where like trash talk and then inf end up being the team on top that could also happen <laughs> we'll see we will see so uh, pause time your panda has dc'd and we're waiting for panda to come back and um, i think there's some has panda dc'd or has uh, arunasura dc'd panda arunasura also... is on base having not bought a single item so yeah but panda also quit so there's a dc from panda. oh right right okay my <laughs> chat bar is hidden for me so yeah so um I don't know. It's maybe problem with both because Aruna is he's not mm. bought his items, so he's either he's 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 also facing some problems. So let's see. Hmm. So this bot lane, Twitch and Nautilus versus Wayne and Wayne Chana. Chana. Yeah. Yep. How do you think? I mean, in lane in the early early on, uh, so. Early on the Twitch I don't think he has the range to kind of handle say when the Vayne and Janali kind of move in but that's where the Nautilus kind of comes into play where he threatens to CC and you know get some huge damage done because when Nautilus lands a dredge line on the Vayne what follows is just a cask and like a and it should like I be that he Twitch lands his whole five stacks and manages to deal some huge damage with only a jana shield to kind of protect him for protect the vein for so i i hope the synth needs to be very proactive in this lane because twitch by nature does not have the range to kind of combat jana that both kind of attack together so we might see some aggression coming in from the vein jana early on in the right places but if the nautilus place is right i think he can just kind of step in and be uh, this thing and kind of be a shield in a way that he just draws a lot of aggro onto himself and of course you can't really push uh, you can't really push in early against a vein jana because that's exactly what they want so you have to do all of these intricate little things in the skirmish while keeping the wave at mid or pushed against your turret okay so uh, it looks like there will be 2 3 minutes more and uh, right yeah so there's only 10 minutes of pause time allowed per team Yeah, Aruna Sara is here. We are waiting for Panda to reconnect. Level six, however, when the Twitch and Nautilus farm up to level six, they will be they will have a much easier time because uh, in the main in the actual when it comes down to it and it throws down to it, unless Jace has like followed up on and the Victor is also coming or if the Poppy has made a teleport play at the bot lane, there is really no logical way the Vein really win against a Twitch and Nautilus post six. if they have all their abilities up and summon is up so it should pretty much uh, be sealed after level 6 but they should get to that part they should be able to pull things around but we'll see they have teleports i'm expecting vanna to use his teleport to gank more than this thing unless he's of course forced out early and has to unfortunately use teleport early on like to get to lane 
but otherwise i am expecting yeah to see that it's a very it's hard to plan out your early to mid game with this kind of a comp because there's so many options available and you have to choose the best one all all at the same time praying that you know the laners play their lanes perfectly so there's too many variables if you want to get into that depth but these guys could just also not care and just do things that's pretty much the best way to handle this if you're new to you know playing these kind of comps and new to kind of handling your roster as a team in this way and so yeah lots of things yep that's true um 1 minute 52 seconds of pause time remaining Oh god if Arna Sara doesn't like get in and do stuff then... Arna is here uh, Panda is who Oh right here yeah. <laughs> I know if I'm going for the standard 5 point 5 point uh, this thing defense start where they just kind of cover all five jungle entrances all jungle entrances and uh, this thing the warna the sam is like no sorry i'll just hug my tower instead junglers hate that by the way in solo queue i see reddit posts about it all the time where junglers are like just get to a jungle entrance and guard that i don't want you hugging your tower early on but whatever sam is like hey i'll just sit here instead yep that's true Oh, if JS is going to start red then go Krugs. Okay, then you know this thing all wonderful. And that's just reconnected. But they still can't really pause anymore because 30 seconds is not enough to even go to like the bathroom and come back or whatever. Yeah, so <laughs> unless unless INF is cooperative to give their pause time. Yeah, sportsmanship and all that. We'll see. They are capable of that though. They're very nice people. They're not really, yeah. Yep. Usual starts. Okay, both junglers starting on the bottom side of the map. Minions has spawned. And the report chief who call already here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, he's starting blue now. which okay he doesn't really have information but uh, j is starting blue yeah again it, there's no real point ganking of vein general in leon so you can might as well get the blue buff and just work on a full clear or something and just get levels and be ahead of the enemy jungler and try to go for a counter jungle instead yeah once you have levels as j is because j still has dueling potential even if he's a jump so eternal takes level 2 and goes to the enemy red buff and it is boarded it will be spotted by INF and they will be able to see that he's going in and What? so red buff will be taken i'm not sure if cluster will act on this immediately there were i didn't see any pings coming in from INF side so they might have also not noticed even though they warded but uh, cluster himself seems to have some plans of his own i think he does i asked taken red buff he is i think he just took the plant up board top. yeah with a double buff at level 2 yep and and this will be okay sure. flash. good flash yeah good flash coming in from franco to kind of protect himself and just not get completely screwed over yep uh, and i don't uh, think uh... Jace has responded well. He should have gone to Wait, him. why? How was Synth still level one? That's why the gang failed. Synth was still level one. He was only stuck with one E. Yeah, because uh, both both yeah. of them were level one. Um, he got a pretty good clear early on. Uh, Eternal on that least end. And right, true. No, no, no. That's not the thing. Uh, my question was uh, because Red was level two. Uh, the Twitch was level two. I. Right? By mistake, Synth uh, probably stayed off of experience, stayed away from the minion experience somehow for about a couple of minions, and that is that is exactly what I'm saying. So whenever, yeah, that's the thing that I'm saying. When Nautilus has a dredge line, uh, Twitch should you most of the time get the all five you know stacks on the vein and be able to do tremendous amount of damage. And look at their FA this thing. This is a complete turnaround from the situation they were in in the first game, where they're now pressuring INF and putting INF on the. you know on the spot and all that and top lane as expected severe harass coming in from the cannon and we'll also see we also get to see elementless lux 
let's take bets on what uh, achievement she'll go, man. I personally really, really love. Uh, I, I've only tried three of the f four, first four that she can form once she like lands her enough abilities on enemies. So that those are namely like fire, nature, and uh, I think air. Yeah, I don't think I've tried water yet. I've tried air, fire, and nature. I haven't tried water yet. So uh, show me water, Anasara. Show me water when you go and buff this thing. If you're secretly spying on the stream, which you shouldn't be, but I'm not gonna. You know, this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, Who doesn't like fire? And that's very, that's really, really low. And of course, you won't ever be able to kill. You'll only be able to permanently get them down, get them like low early on as cannon because you lack the specific damage beyond the small pokes that you deal. It's the same thing. It's like a Jace minus the fact that he has a hammer stance to all in you with. That's how cannon is in theory. Wow, no, it, it's good enough really, really good. Cull. True, true. Yeah, he also has a cull, so when he gets hunted CS, he'll have enough gold to pretty much get that. Well, he's aiming. If he gets like a couple of kills, he can get Protobelt right away. That's, yeah, that's how it would look. That's how things are looking, at least, immediately. And that's really, really odd. This thing done by but because of the position of the vein, he's not in, he didn't really take more damage than needed. And another dredge line can come off from Synth and he's just, I want Nautilus to do a lot more because Twitch of course can't face things by himself and, uh, but they are pushing the lane up and, uh, okay, Lee Sin is at the bot side, so they probably are okay with it. But usually they, you shouldn't, you don't want to be doing this. You don't want to be pushing a vein Jana in because that's pretty much what they want as uh, this thing. Yeah, but they're trying to get up on levels uh, against them. So yeah, even that's, if they get that's also thing, there. So, correct. Even if they get an opening, Correct, they're already level 5 and now they're well on their way to getting his thing. Yeah, getting and the Thunder Lord's proc. Yeah. Uh, this will end you. This this will keep happening right up till right until uh, Shifu gets his either Spectre Scowl or uh, uh, Nitron Cloak. This is kind of how the matchup usually goes. You just have to not fall too far behind the CS, which he isn't, and he's actually able to get enough. This things happening to him. Cluster did attempt to go top, but a good control ward placed by uh, Cannon will protect him. What? And he's not really able to land the stuns this time. Like, he, he has missed uh, the shurikens what few times the actual camera has flown up. So, it's not really too worrying yet. But uh, let's just hope that when it comes down to it, he's able to land them and actually make use of it. The thing which is interesting is that even after uh, the red buff steal, Buster and? is just 50 gold deficit from uh, Lee Sin. Yeah, yeah, but that's because uh, that's because Lee Sin is now on a timer to kind of go like and this. this Redamar has just been left alone. Yeah, that was that was very awkward to see. <laughs> Since just leaving Twitch alone. So now Sin uh, is level thing. four, but all other three are level five. Yeah, so he missed a bunch of experience in the like during the level one phase, which is also why they couldn't get their gank off. Because if Synth had the deadline, they would have, it was sure, for sure. Wow. Okay, maybe not for sure, but... I would have been ridiculously low back then. And an early dragon, also a good, this thing, considering that it is a mountain drake that they got. Yeah. Which will be good damage on their tower. And when this thing is... Again, this is a comp that you want to pressure towers with early on as well. Yep, they had no vision over that mountain drake. And uh, it was easily taken away by the Lee Sin. Yep. So good on uh, Hefe to kind of see that and do it, but otherwise his Lee has really been proactive. He is already level 5 when he is oh. besides a freak level 2 gank. Oh, oh, oh wow. That buff mistake, that buff mistake. That happened. <laughs> uh, that yeah, happened, so he's this thing so... and... Yeah. <laughs> he did, so... Well, <laughs> SKD made, Jerry. made that mistake, so... Oh, sorry, that's my dog. I just, that's the reason I said that was, that, that was my dog, who is just <laughs> annoying me. Anyway. <laughs> so. The battle for what's going on. Yeah. Not too much happening is... See, yeah, Panda has DC. 
somehow. Yeah, he's just hitting in this thing. And a first blood. Oh, God, I did not even see that. I had moused over to Panda, so I'm not really too sure what happened over there. I do see Lee Sin with an assist, so I think they just did a very standard gank onto the Lee Sin, it would seem. Of course, FA does not really have much time left on the calls, so... See, this is the Ten, nine, yeah. This is uh, the level of respect they have for each other, uh, which <laughs> good guy Shifu. Um, yeah, yeah, well, and that's first time run, but I'm sure INF are pretty happy to give up their own first time for a little bit to build of sportsmanship and everything. So that's good. And Sam has been CSing ridiculously well. He died right now, but he would only lose at best one wave, which is about six minions at this point. So, Sam has actually been doing really, really well CSing and this thing. And Arunasara has just been kind of left there. He did, he probably just, this is probably just Arunasara's general farming errors. I mean, he wasn't really pressured to get out of, pressured out of most of CS to cause his deficit. So, he probably caused it on himself by improperly CSing with Lux, naturally. So, Well, okay, this, this, is the, this, this is probably the first bit of silence in both games right now. Yeah, yeah this is the first time we've been silent on stream. Huge. Damn. <laughs> it's already been like 12 minutes of pause time and it's huge. Yeah. I'm surprised you actually managed to talk through it. And the three minute delays at Champ Select. Yeah. We're also really figuring it out, man. The caster scene is evolving, guys. The caster scene is evolving. We need more of you. So come. <laughs> We're getting better at it. So please, please sign up. <laughs> we have players, we need casters. Yeah, got the players, got the people to organize casting. <laughs> got the streamers too. Yep. So what to do now, he asks. So don't you even realize what's happening, Cranko? Okay, Panda's be logging in. So All in all, really, okay, so bot lane kind of held out and uh, good on this thing to go there and well done, Pandar has reconnected, so the game will resume, finally, and I really, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do some very stupid thing and rewind just to see how uh, the victor died. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it Oh, and Shifu okay. gets a kill on Panda. So, um, two kills coming into the final. Oh, wow, wait, Even... another thing happened? Okay. Yep. Oh, I didn't notice that. I did not even notice that. Okay. The solo kill? Yep. Shifu... I didn't really notice that. Shifu saw Panda go all in and he realized Panda didn't have enough items to kill him. So, he replied oh. on his RT and. Oh, well done. That was a really, really good of this thing. We'll get so, the as well. so finally things looking a little good for Yeah, I mean it's it's little between like this they have to kind of rely on to get anywhere in this game because apart from that they only they have to just play peel for the vein, theoretically, like as a this thing in Pong. So 
I guess they gave the and solo turret XP to Did they? Uh, I think they did, yeah. So that's yeah, I mean that's that's probably common, like giving it over to the ADC yep. so that she can like ramp up and get to her items this is better. And wow, that's a very odd uh, hitbox on that dredge line over there. But he still managed to hit it. He did just put his ult, but nothing came too much of it. So yeah, the reason the which pulled over the flash. If he yeah. knew uh, yeah. Aruna wasn't there, he wouldn't have needed to flash. He could have simply yeah, there. correct. Correct. <laughs> So the way he, the way uh, Anasar managed to get first blood was because uh, basically Eternal got caught counter jungling, and so when Eternal turned back, like he kind of turned around to kind of seek help through Ardasara, Sam just kind of went into intercept, and uh, Lee Sin just got a free ult onto Sam, and he fell into a bind and a full combo from the Lux, and managed to give get first blood to Anasara. Okay, so so as I was reviewing that, Panda died. <laughs> Shifu is actually leading in CS right now and uh, it's actually a very good thing for Poppy. Yeah, actually it is. So the, the, the few ways Poppy can kind of get the better end of this matchup was because so basically the way she itemizes will anyway end, end up in her being ahead at some point of the game. But the sooner she gets that, the better, the, the greater the victory for her in this matchup. So. She'll be able to do really, really hold her own against Panda no matter what now. And I think Panda just let the... He was away, I mean, he was kind of DC'd, so he probably would, was not in the same mindset or he probably would not have been able to keep his head together. Because the frequent DCs can kind of just disrupt your momentum, disrupt your rhythm, and so it would have generally stopped you from... pulling off the pick and everything. So... Yep. And uh, pretty standard lanes going out here. Um, I think this is the time where Tom is going to rotate. Or uh, are, they, are they trying for the second? Yeah. Season? I mean, uh, depends, right? Depends on how much information they have on the map. If they probably, if they know somehow that uh, Lee Sin is on the top side, like for now, I think right now they do. There is Lee Sin is sitting on a ward. Yeah, he did just walk through a ward, so now that he's top lane. They could have gone uh, for this thing, but they opt to record it now probably because they just have the gold for items. Yeah, they, they, they are going top. They are going top. Yeah, okay, now they are rotating top. True. Then I probably just spoke for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I just spoke for absolutely nothing now. So, uh, but oh well, Arunasura going air on Elementary Lux very disappointingly. Oh. Yeah, that's just whatever. And oh my god, that is really, really great by Shifu, but that's too profound in this thing, but he will still die. Oh, and report being given to the kid, yep. so yeah. Yep. Now things are Yeah, good. that's what. So the, the only way, INF have pretty much now created the only way they can kind of win in on paper here, which is pretty much playing Peel for Vayne. And he will, oh my god, Redemar actually oh! missed. Okay, yeah, okay. no wonder, yeah, no wonder. But the damage <laughs> from the chase... The reason really Elmar kind of died over there was... Uh, the, he made the fight too close by missing his cast. He threw his Venom cast behind Jace, which didn't really give proc the 5 stacks in time. Yeah. And, you know, get... allow, like you know, Elmar the 5 stacks to sink to. Yeah, but at this point, yeah, but the, this is still not too worrying for INF. Like, it's okay if they have two mountain drakes as long as they're not really hitting towers. And at this point, even though they have the comp for it, they really have to ramp up and get like more items to be stronger and get themselves into that position to do all this. Some and yeah, that's, that's a standard. They, they are just focusing on Panda right now. They're just focusing on Panda yeah, right now. and oh my god, they've been pressing so top much so much right now. And uh, will fall down. Redem are coming in. But she is tanky. Oh my god, Anurasur are so late on that ultimate. I don't know why Arnasara was so late on that ultimate over there, but it's okay, they still managed to get Poppy in response. So that's one, that's something. And it at least will prevent uh, a lot of Oh, nice ward. Nice what's happening. And very good ward. Very good present, like, game sense by Redemar to kind of check if, that rush through a ward. put that ward, it was 100% Yeah, I mean, he would have definitely been expecting, I think it's a Janna, and they would have definitely, generally had the experience oh, starting everything. Oh my god, it's... Can it really do much? 
Okay, he will be able to get Jana, but will he be able to get Okay, well done. They both spend their flashes for it, but it's something. And will they be able to get the tower from it? Cluster is rushing top. Sam is going top to protect it. So either Arnasara can either work to bring mid down or he's not. He actually wants to go back, it would seem, or he's also going top. He's using a very defensive bathing towards it and uh, oh, teleporting back up to top lane. So they will be able to run. This is turning into a count fiesta. Yeah, and oh my god, it's a very bad finding from Arunasura. He really won't be able to kill the poppy now, and they're all in deep trouble because Victor. Okay, he won't really get his ult yet, but. <laughs> come on, Arunasura, come on. It was chaotic. But... Yeah, this is turning on the dawn. Where both teams are just playing collapse on each other every time they're back up. Well, both teams and they always tend to last as long as this as well. Both teams are tired, they are playing from four. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can see a little fatigue coming in from both sides. That, that fight Fatigue may be, but it sure is INF coming out of the better end of this deal. See, I told you, even though uh, FA have two mountain drakes and they could be able to see stars much better than INF at this point. They're still not able to actually get to the point where they can yeah, use the and towers and now there's a failed teleport Panda. coming in from Panda. And there's nothing to contest, nothing to take. He, he should have cancelled the teleport. Oh, I yeah, and a flash dreadful yeah. coming in. They will get a catch on Cluster. Will this run into a mid tower? Not quite, because Sam is in there to protect it. Cluster kind of overstayed his welcome. He should have been going back since he realized there was a teleport from Panda. And yeah. So again, like, sure, I have everything, but they're just not able to coordinate and make the comp work. It's actually a little kind of disheartening to see here. They actually have a much easier, they, they have an easier scenario on their hands in, in the form of executing this comp, and they're just making these tiny, tiny mistakes in the form of not responding to pressure, in the form of the fact that Panda got dove in like twice by this twice, bot lane yeah. and just died twice like 1v3 and the Lee Sin or the mid laner was really really there to kind of ease the pressure off and just kind of bully them away. So INF kind of recovering like from their communication issues and just playing the better macro game right now making all, all of their advantages work, taking, systematically taking down towers so the top outer and even mid outer is now very low so it won't be a it won't be too long before they're able to get that down as well. So yeah, now they can just keep giving, sending farm to the vein. It's all a matter of, you know, getting the vein to scale and peeling for the vein in team fights. And they're all capable of that. It's Vio. You have a Jana who's L, Jana has everything. That's, that's a lot of liberty. Cluster will realize. Oh, Cluster will. Cluster oh, will. wow. That's a very, very good plan set up by FA to kind of get this down. Again, they, they need towers they, more than anything else. It's good that they're setting up catches. And, and okay, will this day turn into a kill? No, not really. He did flash out, so he won't be able to finish the victor off. Yep, uh, game pretty. Oh, game pretty balanced up till now. Yeah, despite all this, INFs don't have a really all the significant goal lead, but again, look at towers. Like, they, they probably care little of how ahead in gold or behind in gold they possibly are because they're just playing a better macro game. And now, this is what INF need. I mean, this is what uh, FA needs here. Two mountain breaks, the ability to just take down towers. Oh. And oh my god, that's a very brutal miss. Oh, but it won't be oh wow. Arunasura. Arunasura. Oh, you little. Oh, you little less. Oh, you little map aware mid laner. And uh, Rubcord oh panics. Rubcord. Yeah, yeah, no, that's just made out of panic. Oh my god, the INF is just messing up so much. He might even die now. Yeah. So and who flashed? Okay, Cluster just flashed. Cluster just flashed to probably tag EQ there. So showing some affectionate, you know. Play, playing for, for his team and love for his team, love for Ripcord especially. And they will go for that instant. 
Yep, they so can take Baron because they just have the damage to do so. It's just that if Panda just happens to Ian and ult and kill them all, it would be a very different story. And so is the Twitch who's like moving in around here. Then oh, he doesn't Panda, really have flash, Panda so Panda has to move that. around. I'm not sure what he's doing. And Panda just missed that. Uh, that yeah. Flat. Yeah. He thought he'll be able to connect with the flash. Flash was down no, he could have just gone in anyway. Like he could have just ulted, proto bested, and then uh, Arunasura would have pretty much been able to chunk them down later on, like following up behind them. So I guess there wasn't much communication in that way. Yep. And Panda should have anyway, like uh, I I feel Panda should have anyway just walked around because he had time. He definitely had time the time to just you know look at the team and say okay they're going for Baron now, let's just do this. Like, Let's just get around and try to disrupt them in any way. Like that's the thing, they have champions. FA have the champions to disrupt Baron heavily in the form of the cannon, in the form of the Lux and everything. Yep. And um, But they just have to pull it to but they just have to get it together and that's exactly what they're failing to do in these small small skirmishes. And another this thing's oh, beautiful. I have a and ult coming off of this thing and a very very good engage on the side of uh, FA but oh, they're Panda not able to pull it out because Panda got knocked back. Sam gets the twitch of himself and Synth is also dead and ah little things, little things, little things are disrupting FA right now. Slowly finding their own these things and Arunasura also never ulted that fight, he didn't really manage to kill anyone. In order to do this thing, yeah. And a bad power play right there. At least the victor, right? I hope he at least managed to kill the victor who was trying to get go up of the Twitch, but I didn't really see his position beyond uh, this thing. And the fact that he's uh, beyond the uh, one time and oh, it's so was very, very. Up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good redemption coming in from uh, Franco to help keep the team alive. And Vayne is jumped on, but Ripcord is more, way more than safe. And. They're able to get a couple of these things, but Cluster is down and... Wow. Like, the fact that I've lost, that I'm not gonna just stop talking eventually, is just me getting more and more clueless at why FA is playing the way they are. It looks to me like they're just tilted and given up on the game at this point. Like, it's harsh, I know. Harsh as a caster, I really should be saying these things, but that's how it looks like, folks. I mean, in my eyes, I mean... The mistakes that FA are doing are very, very uncharacteristic of them as a team. Yep. And it's not even about the fact that it's a new roster or anything. I'm just very appalled <laughs> that they're doing this. But anyway. Ripcord is, is unmanageable right now. They have to do something about Ripcord. If they want to win this, they will have to win. Yeah, the vein that they have to protect right now is fed enough to kill them all. Yeah. At this point for INF, so it's just able to do everything, you know, possible to pull it off. Sam, Franco just uh, stealing away to club. Yeah, well. <sighs> so two people at the top lane, Four, all five members of INF are slowly moving up at the top, uh, to the top lane. I mean, uh, the reason I wasn't talking too much was because I was looking away. Uh, uh, otherwise, I could have pretty much been telling you what was going on. But it's nothing more than just INF slowly coming together to kind of this thing in the top lane while taking the entire red side jungle. And oh, Shifu I makes a very, very big engage, but Landa just gets blown up by Sam. He's just not having a good game at this point. As the Finalis function does and go on. Getting go on. But um, they will pick up and Ripcord gets kill. a double kill. He might easily move it. Or no, not up. really. He's, they're just prioritizing objectives above kills. And this might be GG they actually GG for INF. They have all the means to. Yeah. This. Wow. They are styling on this on uh, FA right now. I, I really didn't expect this. I truly didn't expect this because of the comp that I they had. Expect they, you know, this thing, yeah. I knew it was going to be a tough game, but 2-0 wasn't expected. 
Yeah, 2 0, and this is a much, much shorter game than the first one, too. So, props to INF for actually finding out for their own win conditions and playing around them to ensure victory. So, this is. So that's it, guys. INF will go to the finals, defeating FA. And uh, this has been the semi first semi final of the EDX Winter Championships. I am Zedaias, and on behalf of Anthracite, goodbye.